Okay, let's go to our uh, final destination. Before we go there, um, the uh, we're going to fight the last boss, but there is uh, another, I guess, not so secret now optional boss which you can do. The final, final boss. But in order to uh, encounter that boss, you have to uh, consume three thirds of the umbilical cord, which we found throughout the game. So let's go ahead and consume these all now. Let's then go through here. So what I've got more of? Let's just stick with fire paper. And beast blood pellets. Oh, there he is. I was going over here because it's a bit brighter. But anyway, there he is. His little wheelchair. Little cripple. Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> if you submit your life, uh, that's it. He kills you. Game's over. If you wake up again, you're gonna refuse. <laughs> dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight. <laughs> German joins the hunt. <sighs> Let us German. Oh, that's some hard hitting attacks. Do not buff up. Let's buff up a bit. Try to get some. This works. And now we're just going to shoot. Just try not to panic. Stand there. <laughs> but yeah, it's probably recommended for that guy to kind of hold on a badge. Okay, there in a bit.
Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. Is there. That is Bloodborne plus the DLC. Oh god. Um, so yeah, just the last two bosses. Gammon, very, fairly easy. Um, literally just kind of you can you can easily like parry him when he's got his uh got his scythe fully extended. He kind of winds up really slowly, so you get a nice uh, opportunity to parry. Uh, when he breaks off and gets his gun out, it's just easier to just dodge into him and kind of stun him with your attacks. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and as you see, though, we got the back attack when he was charging up. Just turn it off. <laughs> uh, moon presence as well, easy again, like slow attacks, slow slashing attacks. So you can keep on attacking the moon presence. And then when it stops to charge, it takes your HP down to one. But if you keep attacking the moon presence, then you get your health back. Uh, so yeah, kind of easy. Like like those two bosses, after doing the DLC, DLC bosses is just meh. Easy. Easy stuff compared to those DLC bosses. Uh, but anyway, guys, that was me. Uh, Robonics Gaming. We played through a Bloodborne. Um, and I have to say, like, even after, like, how long, six years it's been out? Five or six years? It's still in Joe World's playthrough. Um, but anyway, guys, if you have any, if you liked any of this content, if you like this playthrough, then please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and if you've got any suggestions for future videos or anything you want to contribute to these videos, if you've got anything wrong, if you want to correct me on anything, uh, then please feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be much appreciated. Um, but anyway, that is it for me in this series. Hope to see you again on another. Take care, guys. I'm out. Peace.